Now, 530 Memorial Day weekend means more people will be spending time at the pool and beach. While spending time in the water can be fun, it also comes with dangers. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Agalel has more on the push to help prevent drownings. Filter, cartridge filter. It's a busy time of year for Charlie Hook. Really is. Yes, yes. Uh, April, May is our big, big opening season for everyone. Get them all sparkly right off the bat. He's the owner of Pool Scouts of Hartford, which means he's opening pools and cleaning them as the unofficial start to summer gets underway. When we come to a pool that everything in, in is safe, uh, where there's certain things we look for in the drainage system and the plumbing and so on to make sure that that is all in place correct. And there are many layers to pool safety. May is National Water Safety Month, and each year in the United States, there's an estimated 4,000 drownings. Most drownings happen during non-swim times, um, so they could be near a body of water, they could be visiting somewhere that has a pool. Kristen Mabruk is the executive director of the Hope Floats Foundation, a nonprofit group focusing on drowning prevention and swimming lessons for children who might not otherwise be able to afford them. We really believe that all children, regardless of their family's current financial situation, um, deserve access to, to high quality formal swimming lessons, which reduces the risk of drowning by 88%. Hope Floats has teamed up with Pool Scouts of Hartford to help raise awareness about the importance of water safety and how fast drowning can happen. It can be silent. Um, so in the amount of time that it might take you to um, run inside and grab your phone, for example, um, a child can drown, a child can go under in that time. The number one thing that we look for is supervision. If there's young ones, it has to, nothing replaces supervision. Hope Floats partners with swim schools across the country to provide scholarships. Families in need who are interested can head to the Channel 3 app for more information. In Hartford, Ayagalel, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.